Hi, Cap Steve for BoatTest.com, and today I am on the PowerCat 52 from Horizon Yachts. Now, Horizon Yachts is a premium builder, so they're priced a little higher than other yachts, but there's a reason for that. You pay for the quality, and I'm going to show you what that quality looks like as we do our full features inspection. Now, not only that, but Horizon has a unique way of taking care of their customers. They deliver the boat completely stocked with everything you need to not only take it away from the dock and do a cruise, but to maintain the boat. There's a full toolkit, there's cleaning supplies, there's manuals that are so nicely laid out. In fact, they even have this, a thumb drive with all of the schematics, wiring, owner's manuals, everything right there. And that's just one small part of how Horizon will take care of you. Join me as I do my features inspection. The sliding door, stainless steel framed, tinted glass, opens 39 inches. Closed, we can pull down a privacy shade and we enter into the main deck with a wide open atmosphere. Windows all around, great visibility. Galley is aft and to starboard. There's a prep area to the port side and the salon is forward. Let's look at each of these areas individually. We'll start with the galley. There are Cory encounters to the J-shaped galley. Propane stove, that was requested by this customer. Double basin stainless steel sink and there is a cover for the sink that has dedicated storage underneath. There's a Fisher Paykel Dishwasher and everything else is Miele. Nice wine storage. Now we said in the beginning that quality breeds reliability and you can see that quality as we work our way throughout this boat. For instance, in the galley, anytime a cupboard is going to touch another piece of furniture, there's no bumper on the back that gets stuck on the cabinet. There's a chain and we'll see that all over the boat. Plenty of storage above, and there's an extraction fan above the stove. I like seeing that. Over to the opposite side, plenty of workspace for food prep and also deep storage. It goes way back to here. They really did a good job on this. Look at all the storage for the glassware. Ship's electrical panel just behind. Normally we'll see a panel like this that's just filled with breaker switches for the 110-220 system and the 12-24 volt system. Not necessary on this boat. Horizon took a whole nother stance and they just eliminated the breakers. They're still there, but they're behind bulkheads that you don't need to get into. Instead, we can control the whole boat from this one panel. Here's our breaker systems, generator controls, AC controls for the air conditioning, inverters because we have solar panels on the roof as well, charging the batteries on this boat power controls and our water maker controls. Everything easy to manage and it's all in one small panel. Now the bar stools, notice they're affixed to the deck by pedestals, but the pedestals are at angles so we can just simply swing around and take a seat and make them as comfortable in any position we want. Again, Corian counters because we have a wide beam 42 inches between the counter and this grab rail. Now, I want to point out the quality and fit and finish that we just don't see in other boats. This is acacia wood. The veneer is a gloss finish, and notice where they come together, there's just another strip of acacia wood going all the way down, and we see that everywhere throughout the boat. Really nice and interesting detail work on the part of Horizon. And notice how all the grains are matching all the way around and across the entire galley. Overhead, there's a stylized insert surrounded by high gloss wenge. And because it's a catamaran, we have under deck availability for plenty of storage and it's put to good use on the horizon. Moving forward, we go from the casual dining of the stools to the more formal dining up a seven inch step. There's an L-shaped sofa here wrapping around a nicely finished triangular table and it's on a high-low pedestal. And now from this position, as I look through the whole room, I can see that Horizon did the nice touch of putting gloss finish on all the horizontal surfaces and satin finish on all the vertical surfaces. To the port hand side, there's a TV not on an electric lift. This is not going to fail several years down the road. 50 inch TV and then above a Sonos sound system that is connected to the whole boat. So you can control all of the music, TVs, stereos, everything from your smartphone through all of the zones about the boat. Just underneath the TV, the owner utilized this space for chart book storage. Just don't go too high because remember the TV's still got to come down, but it's a clever use of space. 
Another nice detail on the part of Horizon, easy access to all the service areas. Just look up inside here. I mean, come on, the hatch is finished on the underside. It's lighted inside and everything is clearly labeled. Now let's take a look at the accommodations. This is a three stateroom, two head layout. The master is to the starboard side. We'll start there. First thing I notice, eight inch risers to the steps, not 10 inches that we usually see. Much more comfortable and it feels much more natural and home-like. Notice the rail wrapped in leather. And just ahead, <laughs> look at this head. Opening port light for ventilation, storage behind the mirrors and they're lighted. Vessel sink on top of Corian counter with plenty of storage underneath. Roomy shower just ahead with nice tile work and a shower wand, not a rainfall shower. I'm happy with that. I seem to have a problem with rainfall showers, but that's personally just to me. I like the shower wand. Electric flush toilet, more storage to the side bulkhead. As we make our way back out, just past the companionway, there's a privacy door. And with the door closed off, now we expose good size hanging locker with a full length mirror behind one of the doors. That storage continues just forward, drawer storage underneath, and then more storage across. There's just so much storage on this boat. I like that they utilize this space right on top of here, just adding a stainless steel fiddle. Simple feature, makes such a big difference. And then we come to the master. Six foot four inch overhead clearance. The berth is 80 inches by 69 inches and it's mounted to thwart chips because it's on an elevated level here. So we still have the narrow entrance to the bow as it's going through the waves. The berth is facing hull side window so you can wake up to a nice view. Of course, those could be closed off for privacy. Storage to one side and notice we still have access to the forward side, but it's a little bit limited because of course we have the bow coming up in that section there. Steps to the side give us access to this side of the berth. Nightstand over to one side and nightstand to the other without storage. And we have plenty of storage just ahead of the berth. Now, even with this elevated position, I still have 39 inches above the berth. Now for the port side staterooms, each one has a separate entrance. We'll start at the bow with the VIP. Well, first let's start with some measurements. The berth 78 by 60 inches, the overhead clearance 6 feet 5 inches, which leaves 42 over the berth. And we have pretty much the same layout that we saw in the master stateroom with the two nightstands, storage in one little sloping area of the bow over to the forward side. So we access the berth from that side and storage ahead of the berth along with hull side windows. I noticed that there are handrails everywhere on this boat. And I said earlier that they were leather wrapped, but they're not really, it's more of a leather inlay. So we have a flush feature going all the way across. Nice touch. The head is just behind. Corian counters, vessel sink, more storage behind mirrors, opening port light for ventilation, electric flush head, and shower. I like that there's a big nook inside for storing product. And just about there's a door leading to the guest stateroom. So this, in effect, is a shared head between the two staterooms. Also, we've got a stacked washer and dryer from Miele. And notice how the doors to close off the washer and dryer tuck in to the side and close off. Nice touch. Privacy door here so we can close the area off, but twin berths, two opening port lights, plenty of storage. The aft deck measures 21.5 by 13 and 11, and there's a six foot eight inch overhead Beautifully finished table on two fixed pedestals, bench seat all the way in back, and then removable deck chairs surrounding the rest of the table. Teak decking, just ahead, sink, ice maker, refrigerator, storage, storage. Interesting part about this storage over here, not only is it huge, but Horizon gives you the boat with all of these supplies included. Now, everywhere I go on this beautiful yacht, it seems I'm finding more and more thoughtful features on the part of Horizon. Not only do they have a stainless steel framed gate to the swim platform, but look just above. This cleat, removable, becomes a rod holder. Just underneath, a recessed latch for the opening side gate. 
So often we will see this latch be left in that position where it can snag on something or it's way down to the bottom of the door. We've got to bend over to get it and it's even inconvenient as a trip hazard. Here, thoughtful touch. The engine room is largely the same to both port and starboard. Let's take a look at the port side one. 542 horsepower Cummins diesel. Fuel tanks are just forward. Battery switches alongside and then charge controllers for the 135 volt solar panels up on top of the flying bridge. Cord reel just behind. I can see easy access to the steering gear. 17.5 kW generator right behind me. Of course, that's not gonna be repeated to the other side. Now, again, thoughtful touches. They're just everywhere on this boat and the engine room is no exception. Looking straight ahead, I can see that the sight tube to the fuel tank is backlit. The two Raycor fuel filters backlit so I can see water at a glance. There's also a vacuum gauge in between the two. Now let's take a look at the flying bridge. Grab handles, grab handles, curved stairs, nine inch risers. First of all, look at this for a boat deck. Because it's a catamaran and we have such a wide beam, we can fit an actual tender on here. 14 feet with a 60 horsepower outboard. 1,100 pound capacity crane will do the heavy work of bringing it over to the side or the stern. Just ahead, freezer storage. And now let's take a look inside. Here we have an Isinglass aft bulkhead if you will, but we can get a solid bulkhead with the door if we want and make this into a four season yacht. Table with two seats to either side, just behind, a little wet bar with a sink, storage underneath. There's a lounge just ahead, double wide, and over to the port hand side, L-shaped sofa wrapping around a solid wood table on two fixed pedestals. Moving forward, the helm, stid helm seat, Look at this steering wheel, beautifully fabricated stainless steel wheel, dual 16 inch displays on the panel, engine display, electrical switches over to the left hand side, Garmin autopilot, and a tri-data recorder. Now, not only do we have electric over hydraulic steering, we've also got a steering backup, plus we have the steering that we can control from the autopilot, so there's three redundant systems. Air conditioning vents are to both sides, so even though it's not enclosed all the way in the back with the Isinglass, we can air condition this entire area. If we want, we can open up the back, add ventilation by opening up this hatch just above and bring air right through this whole area. However, the most interesting part, your installation tech is gonna love this. How's this for easing the installation process? Now let's talk about visibility for a minute. We've got glass on three sides plus the open back, so unlimited view out these windows, of course. But more to the point is from this position, I can see the bow and looking down the companionway, I can see the port quarter from this control station. However, we still have walk around capability by using the dock bay controller and then we can dock the boat from anywhere and control the hydraulic windlass. Horizon Yachts is a premium builder and as such, there's quality throughout every corner of this boat. But more to the point, they don't rush any of their yachts to market. They make sure that everything is proven and tested before the owner gets it. And in that manner, the quality is transferred to the owner. Now, that also helps the resale value, and that's an important component of Horizon Yachts. They maintain their value like none other, and that builds brand loyalty. And that's my full look at the 52 Powercat from Horizon Yachts. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.